quite unfortunate. Um, I'm not here to condemn what he said uh, or to, to testify that it is true or not true. But my, my point here is, you see, sometimes um, uh, it, it's the open truth. I mean, even in Europe, you have players that might be smoking weed, you understand. But here we are in a country that we've, we've gone through a lot of issues. We, we went through um, uh, nice. a nice Almion situation, uh, the NC came, now COVID-19. We've gone through a lot. We are now trying to rebrand the product Ghana Premier League. And then uh, such comments come out. Um, if, if you weigh the options, uh, such comments, they do more, more harm than good uh, to, the, to the players and then to the product Ghana Premier League. And therefore, we would rather uh, uh, plead with, with officials, coaches, ex-players, whoever gets the opportunity uh, to talk to the media um, should know how to, to go about such comments. I mean, uh, there should be a better way of communicating this or trying to solve this issue than the way Coach Sapon uh, said it bluntly on, on on, on air, uh, we are in talk with the PFA, with the with the FA. Uh, I think the FA should also get in touch with the medical uh, department to make sure we put in measures uh, to 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 defray players from getting involved in, in such things like like doping tests after every game. There should be random selection of players from from both clubs. It's it's done in Europe. Sometimes at, even at the training grounds. The medical department of the FA can decide, okay, go to the training grounds of these clubs. And then after their training, do a random selection of some players and do a test. You know, so these are some of the measures that we can we can use to curtail this habit that players. Of course, it's true that play, not even players, I mean people spoke with, you understand. It's 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 not something that is hidden. But then if you think about the effect that is going to have on on, on players' career, he said sixty percent. As to whether it is true or not, he has said it. Those outside Ghana who read this on the web might consider, oh, Ghanaian players, 60 players of Ghanaian players smoke weed. You know, and it's not everybody who is a fan of what, of, what of does safety. What for the image of one Ghanaian players and of two, the Ghana Premier League that? Of course, it's, it's negative. It's, it's, it's tarnishing the image, it's denting the image, like I told you. Uh, the, the Ghanaian player is, is going to be affected. The product Ghana Premier League is going to be affected. I mean, of course, maybe he, he meant to bring this up so that there could be a solution to it. But there are so many ways in killing a cat. He could have used other mediums to get this solved rather than um, going out to say um, about 60% of players smoke weed. This statement obviously has a, a negative effect globally. On, on, on Ghanaian players and then on the product Ghana Premier League.